Current avalanche conditions in Colorado's mountains will go into the history books. Roads closed. Also, as we just mentioned, those ski areas. There are so many avalanches and they are so large that Colorado avalanche forecasters have issued warnings in the extreme category. Bill Folsom in studio looking into what's happening in the high country, Bill. Yeah, a string of them. That one you just mentioned just a short time ago. Over the past 24 hours, more than a dozen avalanches reported. That's in addition to more than 50 earlier in the week. CDOT is saying avoid mountain driving and more than saying use caution. Avalanche forecasters warn to just stay out of the backcountry. Snow piling up by the foot. Right now, it is not a good time to be in the backcountry. Um, conditions are extremely dangerous. Spencer Logan is a Colorado avalanche forecaster. This map shows the current risk. The red is high danger. The black shows extreme danger. This is the first time in 10 or 12 years that we've had an extreme danger in more than one zone at a time. CDOT forced to deal with piles of snow going over roads. A local in Frisco shot this phone video as a small avalanche fell on the edge of town one of dozens of avalanches happening. Forecasters point to the number and size. It's conditions not seen in five decades. Earlier this week, we saw avalanches run larger than they have in the last 50 years. Statewide, we are in a, a really extraordinary historical avalanche cycle. Arapahoe Basin Chief Operating Officer Alan Henseroth is one of only a few at the ski area Thursday. A basin did not open and will still be closed Friday morning. Going back to 1978, I, uh, we have never been closed for an entire day, so this is, this is a big one for us. A basin is happy to show all the snow around 50 inches this week. The mountain is safe. The problem is roads and parking areas. This skiing is uh, blow your mind and incredible. It's so good, but we have to be careful and work our way through this avalanche cycle. Copper Mountain was also closed this morning. They were able to partially open in the afternoon. There's also more snow likely headed their way.